While surveying the site of some ancient ruins, two young archaeologists, Derek and Margot, and their nomad friend, Moki, find themselves trapped and sinking in a whirling pool of sand. And when the dust settles, they stare up in awe at a vast chamber filled with giant relics and artifacts from another civilization. And there, at the far end of the cavern, a door with a strange inscription. All who enter these portals pass through time. Magician. By coincidence, that's exactly what I am. They call me Enoch the Enchanter. My carnival of wandering entertainment is on its way to the greatest city of the Chaldean Empire, Babylon. Babylon? Yes, indeed. Tonight we play before King Belshazzar himself. The King of Babylon himself? Well, not just himself, exactly. He's throwing a little party for a thousand of his intimate friends. <laughs> Can you imagine the King of Babylon? I might be able to get you hired on as servants for the party. You'll have to carry a lot, but then you'll get to eat a lot. That's my kind of job. Enoch, we've got to get rid of Terribulus. He's the most vicious, untrainable beast I've ever seen. I can sell him in Babylon, to the lion pit where they throw the criminals. They, they, they do what? <laughs> they toss criminals into a pit of hungry lions. Uh, and, and then what? <laughs> and then the lions aren't hungry anymore. <laughs> and neither are the criminals. <laughs> it's the perfect place for a killer like you, Terribulus. Babylon. Look. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon. One of the seven wonders of the world. The seven-story ziggurat may have been the Tower of Babel. Wow. the prophet, a great wise man. Wow, Babylon's got everything. <gasps> I just remembered something awful. 
Babylon was always being fought over. It was destroyed a couple of times. Oh, no. Don't tell me we're arriving here just in time for war. Yes, and we're in the city that loses. Relax, guys. Look around. See? <laughs> Nobody's worried. Life in Babylon seems to be... One big party after another. I can't take it anymore, I tell you. The pressure is just unbearable, and I have to do everything myself. You just can't get good help anymore. And those three, they won't do. They won't do it all. Oh, but they will, Sikal. They are friends of mine. I guarantee them. Well, this is the last favor I do for you. But if you embarrass me tonight, I'll have your hides. I'll have your hide right now, Sikal. The king! Oh, my! <laughs> Belshazzar, the king of Babylon. You call this goblet fit for my guests and my wine? I want gold. I want silver. Something glorious. Something worthy of me. Uh, uh, gold? Silver? Well, uh, at this late hour, my lord, how is... Your Majesty, did we not take many gold and silver cups from the Jews' temple in Jerusalem? But those are sacred religious... Excellent! Excellent cups! Yes, yes, indeed! <laughs> Get them from my storage room, Sakal. I've got to meet the king. You'll meet him tonight. No! Ah, uh, uh, hi, king. Your majesty, our new servant, an ex-new servant, you're fired! No! No, we are tolerant. Just see it doesn't happen tonight. One thing about Margot, she sure makes a smashing first impression. I... I don't like this. There. <gasps> They're beautiful. I am not a Jew, but I know these are religious vessels stolen from their temple. I... I have no choice, no choice at all. But to use them for Belshazzar's party tonight is an insult to their god. A profane insult. <laughs> Table 781, table 601, table 834, uh, table 3. Those two go to the king. This is my last chance. We'll take those. No, not you. No, no. by an army of jackasses. Oh, King? K King Belshazzar? I want to make a toast! 
to the god of gold. Wow. Look out. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> At last, some real entertainment. <laughs> All praise the god of gold. Praise the god of gold. And silver. Praise, praise the god of silver. And brass. And iron. And wood. And stone. And gold. Gold. It's a trick! What is it writing? Oh, God save us! I'll give a scarlet robe and a golden chain to the one who tells me what the writing means. I'll make him third ruler of my kingdom. Oh, listen to that. Go on. No, Moki. I'm just an entertainer doing tricks. That handwriting is the work of God. Only someone chosen by God can give its meaning. Someone like Daniel. My son, call Daniel. Mother! Daniel? A Jewish captive, my lord. His wisdom and prophecies were highly honored by the last king, your father. Oh, yes, Daniel. Mine, mine, tequel, perish. These words were written by the hand of God. Belshazzar, you have blasphemed. You praised the gods of gold and silver and toasted them with sacred vessels. I knew it! I knew it! Hear the meaning of the writing! The days of your kingdom are numbered. It is over. God declares your kingdom is at an end. You and Babylon have been weighed in the balance and found wanting. The last word means your kingdom will be divided between the Medes and Persians, and you, King Belshazzar, yes, are finished. Well, I don't believe a word of it. But give him the robe and chain, and all hail Daniel, third ruler of this short-lived kingdom. <laughs> An army, an hour away. King Darius approaches the gate with an army. I will not flee. Darius will find me waiting in my chambers. Unless someone else finds him first. King is slain. It is true, my lords. Then, as the third ruler of Babylon, Daniel, I suggest you join Alreth and me in welcoming Darius at the gate. He may let us live. And the prophecies of Daniel came true. Belshazzar died at the hands of evil conspirators, and Darius the Mede became king. The new king found favor with Daniel, which served only to upset the other two governors. Help me return this city to greatness, will you, Daniel? With God's help, I will, Darius. So will we all, King Darius. I bid you good night, then. Uh, uh, uh. Alreth, if we wish to keep things running our 
away, we shall have to get rid of Daniel. Agreed. Darius thinks too highly of him. Daniel must go. Uh, Someone's in there. They heard us. Guards! Guards! After them! <laughs> That way! Come on! I saw this in a movie once! Sorry, that never happens in the movies. We've got to hide somewhere, fast. In here, quickly. Zone! Be very careful with him. Terribulous is the strongest, meanest lion you'll ever see. A born man-eater. Good. I've got just the place for him. <laughs> it's been three days. See? It's fine now. It doesn't hurt at all. Shh! Daniel's praying. <laughs> Thank you, Moki. But when I'm at my prayers, nothing can disturb me. Margot wants to go out with us. Are you sure we're safe? Absolutely. Now, Beza and Alreth never saw who they were chasing in the dark. Why don't you do something about those two guys? We told you they're out to get you. I appreciate the warning, Moki, but God will protect me. Meanwhile, Darius needs them, and me, apparently. I must go. Hey, guys! Come on! Some creepy guy is following Daniel! Let's go! I am sorry, but Daniel does no wrong. He even prays three times a day. Then we'll make praying a crime. What? Yes. I'll get Darius to sign a law. For 30 days, no one will be allowed to ask anything of any god or man except King Darius. Whoever does, whoever prays, for example, will be thrown into the lion's den. Those terrible, despicable traitors. There they are. Gods! Gods! I'll get to Darius. You get them. Come on, this way to the Hanging Gardens. There they are! So you say for 30 days, no one can ask favors of anyone but me? Yes. Out of respect for you, we will forsake all others, God or man. Anyone breaking the law will be guilty of blatant disrespect for you and your authority. We can't have that, can we? No, sire. And as punishment, they'll be thrown to the lions. Yo! Ah! Duck! <laughs> Missed again! The royal seal, sire. It is now irrevocable law. Your law honors me greatly, Nabiza. I thank you. And I, you, my lord. Let's forget him. Yeah, I've had enough for one day. Yes, I know about the new law, but I will still pray to my god. That's what they're counting on, so do it in secret. Oh, not by the window where they can see you. I am proud of my god. Why should I hide my worship of him? To save your life. Don't move. You're under arrest. No, not Daniel. Not you. The law is the law and must be obeyed, sire, even by kings. Don't fear for me, Darius. My god will protect me. I know that as surely as I know you were deceived when you signed this law. That's true. I will return at sunrise. Throw him in! Oh, Lord, 
this servant is worthy, send an angel to protect him so he can continue to do your work and sing your praise. by an angel of the Lord. Roll away the stone. Heave! Daniel! Daniel! Oh, Daniel. He's not moving. He's... he's... He's waking up! He was asleep with the lions! Daniel, you are blessed. Guards, arrest Governors Nebisa and Aldrith. Bring them here. We'll see if they are so blessed. Daniel, not a mark on you, beloved Daniel. Your God is the living God, a worker of wonders. Then spread the word, Darius. Tell all your people of the greatness of the God of Daniel. Let the word of God ring out through all your kingdom. I will, Daniel. I promise you, I will. Praise God. Praise God. I will never forget this day. But now, I fear I must go. And we must go too. Come on. Stopping! Wow, what a pack of hungry lions. <coughs> me and the same to you big fella <laughs> <laughs> then king darius wrote a decree for all people to fear and reverence the god of daniel for he is the living god and his kingdom endures forever he delivers and rescues he works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth and it was he who saved daniel from the power of the lion